I'm going to focus on the uh, label for the road that we have down here that say 6187. And that obviously needs to be added uh, on top of the road in here. And as we know now, we do have, if I click on it here, our label style in there, which makes it stand out better, you know, which is fine. Um, but if we're trying to make the, the name of the road match the angle of the road in here as well, it's slightly off and well, especially more so if I, if I add it here. Now I could try and rotate that. Now this at the moment is what's called an area type frame. So if I hover my cursor over the corner of the text frame to get the rotate symbol and click and drag, it only rotates the frame. It doesn't rotate the text. So that's no good. So I have to go to edit and choose under rotate. We could hover over the, uh, the mode in here for the text frame and double left click to convert it to point type. And in which case then if I click and drag, I can spin that around and rotate it. That works really well. But another option to this is that we can use text and add it onto a path. So if I go up to the object menu and choose show all, because this is the only layer key and labels that is visible and unlocked, this red line now appears. So what I can do is click on my text, move away from there and double left click and copy that text. Hit the escape key, move that frame away, go back to the type tool, click and hold down on there and choose this time the type on a path tool. When I hover my cursor over the top of the path and then left click, of course, naturally any new text frame will then be added with this dummy text of Lorem Ipsum, but it's highlighted so you can press command V or control V to paste our text in there. If I hit the escape key, that will put the text on top of the path. Now what you can do is, to be very careful, I'm going to change the layer color to show you this. Double left click, change the layer color to be, let's say red for the moment, and then click OK. You'll notice that we have uh, in this region here an in point and then an out point just here. So if you hover your cursor over those and click and drag and pull them towards where your text is, you have to go to either side essentially. This dictates how much room this text is available on this path to utilize. Now, obviously if I pull this left handle in, we get overset text. So I'm now making this tiny portion here visible, but there's not enough room for the whole of the text. If I drag and pull this out, I can now see all of my, uh, my digits in there. But if I go to the center point, I can click and drag and I can move it around and it will move along the path in there. So I have the choice of where to position that. Notice you can drag it underneath. So just be careful of that. Drag it above you can reposition it. So if I just position it, say here, I can then go to the type menu, choose type on a path and then type on a path options. And the dialog box pops up on screen. I can change the preview to show and then under align to path instead of baseline. So my characters sit on top of the path. I can change that to be centered. So then it will just sit over the top of the road in there. And um, we do have effects in there. So you've got all kinds of things like skew and uh, 3D ribbon and all kinds of things. But the default in there, just to put your type on a path is rainbow. And then I'll click OK. Hit the escape key. I can then go to graphic styles and then left click on labels to reapply that. Notice that the text stays visible, but the path that we added that was red has become invisible now. Uh, I'll delete the old text frame. Don't need that anymore. But that's how you can use paths to add your text onto, you know, created with the pen tool and using all the techniques that we've looked at in here.